Hello there guys, Gamer 64 here, and today I've got a brand new episode of Ultra Gamer Talks About. This is the series where you guys can request anything you want me to talk about, and I will give my personal experience, my advice, my views on the subject, and pretty much anything you guys would need to know. Um, I finally have a topic for this series after the long hiatus that it has been on. Um... I've decided to talk about promotions and um, getting like higher up in a job type setting. Uh, recently, if you guys did not see my last video that I posted, uh, I recently got promoted at my job. Um, for any of you that do not know, I work in a small diner um, around my house as a dishwasher. And recently I got uh, promoted to a cook. But you can pretty much hear how all that happened in the last video, which I will link in the description below. And there will be an annotation right here. Right there. Annotation. So, <laughs> um, anyway guys, I'm going to be explaining everything that you need to know about getting a promotion. And what comes with it generally in the most part. And especially if you are working in a restaurant and get promoted in the same way as me. Um, obviously I would know how it is. So, anyways, let's get started. Uh, first thing about a promotion, you will generally get a pay raise, which is awesome. Um, I started out and have been working for two years on minimum wage, and I believe the raise for my job from dishwasher to cook is like, it's like 30 cents to a dollar, I think. I want to say. Maybe. But any kind of raise, I'm good with, because a raise is a raise. Um, generally a promotion will come with a raise. Um, I don't really know of any job that wouldn't offer a raise with a promotion, you know? Um, another thing that will come with a promotion are more responsibility and probably more added on to your job that you already had. Uh, some promotions, like mine, can entail a completely different job altogether. Um, anyone that is anybody can tell that dishwashing is nowhere near cooking, so... Completely different concepts there. Um, sometimes a promotion can lead to a completely different job from what you're used to. Um, that is the case with my job. I was a dishwasher and now I am a cook. Um, it can mean longer hours. Like for me, I used to work only four days in, or four week. I can't talk right now. Four hours. There we go. Got the right word. Uh, four hours in one day. And now I am working nine hours in one day. So I got a bump in hours there, five hours a day. Um, and I work four, day, four days a week instead of three days a week. So that's a big change, uh, very different. Um, some negatives to a promotion, like some people n might not be able to handle the extra, like, the extra responsibilities and the extra pressure put on them by a promotion. But you guys got to realize that a promotion means that you are good at your current job and the boss wants you to take on more responsibility because they feel that you can handle it. It's not meant to scare you or like try to kick you out of the job or company that you are working for. It's meant to show that, hey, the boss really believes in me and thinks that I can do this job. So you guys want to make sure that you do it right if you ever, or if you do get promoted. Um, I mean, I'm not sure, yeah, going from dishwasher to cook is a promotion, right? <laughs> I would think so. Um, anyways, um, back on topic. Um, that shows that the boss really, like, has this kind of trust in you to say, hey, I'm going to promote this person because they do a good job for me. And that's, like, that's one of the best feelings with getting a promotion. Like, when my boss asked me if I wanted to be a cook, I was like, yes, sign me up for that. I'm ready for that. Like, I love this job. Like, it's my first job, and I got a pretty darn good job. Like, I know that it's dishwashing and cooking for a small diner, but... It's a good job, and I love it. <laughs> like, literally, I love my job. I cannot stress that enough. I don't know why. I don't know how. I mean, it is dishwashing. Trust me, it can suck sometimes. But I love my job. I I literally don't understand why I love my job so much. I just kind of do. Um, but when she asked me if I wanted to be a cook, I was like, yes, sign me up for that. Because I knew that she 
thought I was good enough to become a cook. Like, I didn't ask, hey, can I be a cook tomorrow? Uh, she thought that I was good enough for that role, and that kind of made me feel good inside, you know? Like, as it would anybody. Um, some downsides to a promotion. Um, like, going along with the more hours thing, you might not have as much time to yourself or to do things, which that's not really a big, like, issue. Just try to make time, like, before or after work. Um, the two other cooks that, well, we have three, well, we have a bunch of other cooks. We have, like, five. But two out of the five cooks, they stay up until, like, five in the morning, like, doing stuff, you know? So you just gotta kind of make time before and after work. I generally make time before work. Um, if I'm able to, I go in, like I said, my shift is from, uh, 1 to 10, generally, because we close at 9, we're normally out of there by 10, so let's just round it up and say 10. Um, 9 hour shift, and then I have the night to myself, which generally I fall asleep around, like, 11, 30, or 12. I am a tired person. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, guys, I'm going way off topic here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna more fo- this is more for the restaurant workers that get a promotion, not so much for other promotions, because I don't know about other promotions. Um, going from dishwasher to cook, completely different experience. Uh, dishwashers, you do not have the potential to make someone sick, or at least not, not unless you're really bad at the job, which I would hope that you're not that bad at dishwashing, but, um, yeah. Going from dishwasher to cook, it's pretty darn stressful because you can make people sick if you don't cook stuff properly. Like, if I cook a burger and don't get all of the blood out of it, if it's supposed to be cooked a certain way, then I could potentially make somebody sick. And that's, that's like a lot of pressure, but it's not a bad pressure. Like, you feel in a way that you want to make someone enjoy their food, so you want to make it look good. You want to make it look like presentable you don't want to just throw lettuce on a bun and stick a burger in there and say here take this burger fort with lettuce around it <laughs> with a lettuce moat uh, <laughs> what am i talking about i'm being stupid but um and it, in all seriousness um cooking is cooking is a good stressful like it's not a bad thing um, unless you're not good under high pressure situations, which then in that case, you might not want to consider cooking as a career choice. <sighs> Awkward yawn. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Darn it, yawn. You screwed me up. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> that yawn screwed with me, guys. That yawn was weird. Um... Anyways, uh, cooking. Yes. Cooking. Um, if you're bad under high pressure situations, then it's not, it's probably not going to be something that you want to go into. Uh, trust me, cooking can get stressful, especially when there's one ticket up there, you're trying to get that done, and then five other tickets come in. It's like, oh my god, where do I start? Like, that's the feeling. And at one point, I even got a stress headache. Like, I, I do very well under high-pressure situations. Don't get me wrong. Like, I work well under pressure. But when all those tickets came in, I was like, whoosh, headache. Like, some of you guys might be better at handling that than me. Some people might be worse. Um, it just depends on how you are in high-pressure situations. Um, but cooking itself is not terrible once you start, like, learning the different abbreviations on tickets, um, how to cook the food certain ways, and I feel like people would normally pick up on that in about two weeks, two and a half weeks time, and you guys would be perfectly fine. Uh, cooking is not as hard as it seems. Trust me, it is not. Um, most of it isn't even cooking. Like, chicken salad, you throw bread in a toaster if it needs toasted, and you put lettuce, tomato, and chicken salad on it like that's not cooking it's more preparing so most of cooking isn't physical cooking you know um it all just depends on how your restaurant works i guess um 
I think that's all I wanted to cover for this video. If I'm missing anything, then guys, please comment it down in the comments below. Um, I would love to hear your guys' feedback and possibly tell me what I might have missed. Um, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, then please be sure to leave a giant like. And remember to keep on gaming, stay amazing, and I will see you guys next time.